guys and welcome to my channel in today's tutorial i'll be showing you guys how to draft a half bodies princess sim or a princess sim half bodies if you are new to my channel i say welcome if you're an old subscriber i say welcome back do click the subscribe button if you've not done so and also click the notification bell so you get notified whenever siska stitches post new videos and now we can begin so i've drawn the lines that we'll be using to draft this bodies right there's the shoulder line we have our bust line we have our bust point line our under bust line and then our waist line so i'm just going to go right back to the shoulder line now and right there we'll be marking our shoulder measurement divided by two my shoulder measurement is 14 14 divided by two will give me seven so i'll mark it right there and then i'll mark that same seven inches at the bust um line and then i'm going to join the point and this will serve as where we will be drafting our you know we will be creating our armhole curve so i'm going to go to my neckline i'll be going with neck width of four inches and then neck depth of five inches and then i'm going to get my french curve and use that to curve out the neckline So next, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, mark my shoulder slant and I'll be marking one inch from the shoulder line down. So now from that top line to this point is eight and a half inches, which is your armhole round divided by two. So we've taken one inch now. So what we'll be left with is seven and a half inches. So what I'm going to do now is to fold my tape rule into two to get the midpoint. And then I'm just going to mark that midpoint from one inch below my shoulder line, as you can see up until the midpoint right there. So that's what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to go ahead and, you know, join um, neckline to or armhole line to form my shoulder slant so right here i'm going to be marking my bust measurement my bust measurement divided by four 36 divided by four will give me nine inches so i'm going to mark that right here right there on my bust line then i'll get my french curve and you know create my armhole curve so what i'm going to do next now is to mark my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two and the reason we are doing that is because this is on fold so i have three and a half inches seven divided by two three and a half inches i mark it on my bust point line my under bust line and then my waistline because we are going to be drawing a straight line across these three points so i'm going to join them together so the next thing i'm going to do now is to mark my dart allowance so i want my dart to be one inches on both sides because i want the bust to come out really well i'm going to mark the dart allowance at my under bust then i'll go ahead and do the same thing at my waistline for your waist you can go ahead with 0 0.5 0 0.75 or even one inches as i'm doing either one works so after marking my one inch dart allowance on both sides and my waistline, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, join the points together. So in order to, you know, join this part, I'll be needing my French curve so that I can create a curve around my bust area. Using a curve drill actually helps you to achieve that. Your bust place is not straight or it's not diagonal, it's kind of curved. So go ahead and use a curved ruler. So once we are done with this, I'm going to explain what I did here. I recorded this off camera. So right above my bust point line, I marked half an inch upwards. I'm just going to go ahead and illustrate that. I marked half an inch upwards right there, connected it to my bust point line. And remember that we have um, taken down the midpoint of this remaining part of the armhole line so i've marked it right there so what i did was to come down by one inch so i came down by one inch from that midpoint and i'm going to show you where i marked it so from that point i came down by one inch that's the midpoint from that point from the shoulder slant to the bust line so like i said i came down by one inch and then I connected these two points together from that point to that point and I ensured that the line cut, cut across the armhole curve as you can see. So what I did next now is that line that cut across the armhole curve, I marked half an inch on both sides of that line as you can see. So I have half an inch here and I have half an inch at the top right there. 
so that's the explanation for that so what i'm going to do next now is to use a curved ruler again at this point to connect from this line right there up to the curve that's the half inch i marked below that midline so i do the same thing for both sides so guys what i'm going to do now is to extend this bottom line by half an inch the reason why i'm doing this is such that when i sew my fabric i am not shortened by that point so i'm just going to mark an extra half inch you can go with one inch in order to be on the safe side but i'm going with half an inch this um one inch that i took at that curved area we are going to be cutting that that out so what i'm going to do now is to replace that one inch on my bust line and we are replacing it on the bust line because the armhole line is sort of connected to the bust line so once i do that i'm going to now connect the half inch extension to that one inch that allowance that i took out on the armhole line on the bust line i'm just going to connect those points together so now we have our new curve um, line, a new armhole curve, sorry. So right at this uh, point, I'm going to be creating a curve because your bust is not pointed. So just go ahead and you know, use your curve ruler to connect the point and then use your free hand, you know, to just fine tune the line. So cutting can be very, very easy for you. So once that is done, I'm just going to go ahead and mark my under bust measurement divided by four, which is 7.25. And then the dart allowance of two inches that I have here, I'm just going to mark that right there. So on this pattern, we're not adding seam allowances. So I'll do the same thing for my waistline, waist measurement divided by four, and then I add the two inches that allowance as well. And then I'll just go ahead and, you know, connect the points from my waist all the way to my bust. Now I'm bypassing my under bust because you can actually take out the allowance when we are sewing. So I'm just measuring that excess and I have 0 0.25. So I'm going to note that when I'm, you know, sewing my allowances on my fabric in order for the um, outfit to fit my body so once we are done i'll just go ahead and cut this out i always advise that you cut out your princessing pattern from the bottom so that you don't miss out on cutting out your armhole curve that's the right armhole curve if you start from the top there's a tendency to miss out and cut the wrong one so i'll just go ahead and cut out this extended part so i'm just going to go ahead and cut them out cut out the darts allowance so like i said there is no seam allowance on this so when you are cutting this on your fabric just add your half inch seam allowance where necessary especially when joining the princess seam back together at your neckline at your shoulder slant at your armhole line at your waistline then at the side seam you can make it um one inch or one and a half inches that is up to you so i'll just go ahead and you know cut out my pattern and that's it guys we are done with this um tutorial so this is it guys this is how the pattern will look like once you're done cutting and then yeah you're ready to use this on to make your bodies your half princess seam half body so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope it was helpful to you if you have any questions do ask in the comment section i'm going to respond and please if you watch any of my videos and you make a dress for me please tag me in your pictures on inst on instagram i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial process thank you for watching and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye